Hey guys, Silence Dio here. Welcome back to the Ultime Macross Gacha video. With a very exciting month ahead for Ultime Macross because now Dana has decided to have the entire November as a crossover live commemorative period. So if you guys didn't know, Macross Crossover Live 2019 was held back in uh, June. Uh, 2019 and of course if you guys have attended the concerts yourself back in Japan uh, with the Maku uh, Makuhari Mese uh, location you guys would definitely know um, the costumes very well or if you've been keeping up with all the Macross content that I've been sharing in the past on Macross Space Time Today Culture yes Macross Crossover Live was the biggest event that the Macross series had recently uh, aside from all the other stuff like um, Tokyo Sky Tree, um, you know, uh, uh, the Blue Moon Showcase and all that kind of stuff. So yeah guys, so let's dive into the brand new gacha for Freya's Crossover Live Costume, uh, which is also known as Crossover Passion. Alright, so let's take a look at her brand new episode play and let's see what does the crossover life uh, set of episode plates have to offer for us? Are they as good as um, the previous Wild Kure costumes that have provided us one of the best tiers in episode plates itself? So let's take a look at the stats first. So 3623, um, pretty okay, the, not, definitely not in the top tier in terms of total score. Um, Freya's plate focuses on charm, then of course you want to pay attention to the three other divas who are equipable with this episode plate, you know. So apparently her center skill is also affected by, you know, the type of uh, song that you are playing. So because her plate is of the love or the pink element song, uh, definitely since the center skill features, you know, pink element, you know, songs uh, boosting. So I guess that's pretty much why this is here. So let's move on to the next one. Um, active skill, life recovery of 50%. Hmm. So it is not an center position episode plate that is meant for high score, but you know, because usually with an active skill like this, uh, the life skills tendency to be uh, high score boosting effect which is yes score and damage so if you guys still don't know what score and damage is oh my goodness you need to go and watch all my previous videos for Ultra Cross Gachas so all right let's move on and see whether this plate comes with a special note so sadly to say nothing there all right so Freya's plate well um, do you guys really want to throw your stones for this episode plate? I would say probably hold back on it, uh, although you might want to get it for Freya's costume, you know, because apparently her crossover costume is locked behind this pig gacha. There is no way for you to obtain her costume um, because, well, if you go into the current event, you know, um, the first event of the month usually releases a brand new Valkyrie um, So the episode plates don't really provide you any costume points for you know the featured costume So let's take a look at the episode plates from this event you know, To see which Valkyrie actually comes with this episode plate. So let's take a look and here we go Pop. Oh, it's the Freya Colored VF31J Ah, so if you guys didn't know, this um, Valkyrie colored renditions of the Valkyries are all designed by Tenjin Sama. So fantastic, fantastic stuff. So we did get the previous one that belonged to Makina, uh, which was also the first Valkyrie uh, plastic model of Plamo um, that was released. And so following along, so it's Freya, which was exactly the second one. So I guess the third one will be Kaname. Uh, that will be featured because if they're going accordingly to the plastic models released um, dates or rather the, the way it was released um, yeah Kaname is actually next in line so all right so aside from all this I'm sure you guys are well updated by now if uh, if you've been following me on my YouTube Facebook page you would know that Cheryl's crossover live episode plate is coming around the corner which is tomorrow um, and yeah then this gacha well, I don't know. 
do we have enough singing stones for it? Because this entire month seems to be Dana's way of draining our real life cash. But <laughs> guys, let's dive back into the Gacha for Freya's episode plate. I'm gonna do a single template pool because her, her episode plate is pretty mediocre. Um, if you guys are tossing for you know the costume points, I think that's fine. But if you're tossing for the episode plate, I think you might want to hold back a bit. You know, if you guys have enough episode ops to unlock Freya's costume once it's uh, unlockable via, uh, via that option, you might want to hold off your singing stones um, on pulling the gacha again because, well, there is so many crossover costumes. There are 10 divas in total with three key art variations. Um, the main thing is we are only getting one key art variation of the crossover live costume, but the problem is that the episode plates for Key Art 2 and Key Art 3 are going to be hi uh, hidden behind you know, paywalls so um, with Key Art 3 you know, being behind the Nyan Kuji and of course Key Art 2 episode plate um, well, it is possible to get it for free um, considering that they are giving us uh, our entire month of free gacha pools you know, but still luck plays a portion of it so who, who knows? Anyway guys, reserve, uh, conserve your singing stones as much as you can because if you want to pull them for your favourite diva, uh, that's the main thing you need to do right now. So let's do this. One single template pool, 300 singing stones. Uh, thank goodness for Dana discounting the first template pools. <laughs> if not, wow, my pocket is going to burn a gigantic hole. Alright, so we did get a bit of loading there. It wasn't a very slow load, um, so I don't know. It, it might not be a very good outcome. Alright, here we go. So we do get a red box on the first bling. Oh no, this is not looking good. So I'm just hoping to get more episode plates with Freya's costume points. You know, so that I at least have a chance to use episode ops to unlock the costume on my own if I want to. Or maybe wait for returning gacha with all the crossover live episode plates appearing again. So yeah. Okay, so far, lots of uh, old episode plates. Ouch. <laughs> Alright, here we go. The only red box that I have and it is an old episode plate as well. So this is just turning out horrendous. Alright, so no new episode plates and no episode plates that actually come with Freya's costume points. Oh my god, this is, this is horrible. Um, okay. So we do know the fact that um, Dana is going to have you know, discounted singing stone packs with Nyan Kuji tickets in the future. So um, I, I think for this scenario, I am definitely going to do a second pool which is going to cost 500 singing stones just for you know, costume points for Freya's costume. So I'm going to do this guys. Um, if you can avoid doing this, please avoid doing this. <laughs> All right, so we do get a bit of loading once again. Pretty decent loading speed. Um, I, I don't know. It's still not a very big glimmer of hope. Okay, we do get three planes, so I don't know. It might be. It might be a sense of oh, this is this is not good. I was just gonna say that it might be a sense of uh, some kind of you know hope. Ah, uh, but oh dear lord, two red boxes at the second bling. That's just horrendous. Uh, still, lots of old plates. Hey, and it's still an old plate. <laughs> what is going on, Dana? Uh, are you really gonna drain our money just for crossover life costumes? Oh no, this this is just looking very bad right now. Okay, okay. So many old plates. Oh goodness gracious. Ah, oh, and it's still an old plate for the rare ones. Oh god. Okay, we do get two new ones. And there we go. So, <laughs> if, I mean, the, the new plates that I got look kind of old. I don't know, it's just... Maybe because I've seen Delta so many times that, you know, the, the, the images that they use for the episode plates just seem old to me. But anyway guys, luckily enough, I do get two episode plates with costume points for Freya's. Uh, crossover passion costume so that's pretty okay but still considering that the rarity of the episode plays are pretty low 
um, I'm still quite a bit of uh, ways to go to unlocking Freya's costume. So yeah, um, I think I do have enough episode orbs to unlock the costume, but it's very very wasteful uh, in, in in any sense at all. So yeah guys, uh, once again, uh, hopefully you guys have way better luck than I do. I'm sure you guys would. Um, because, well, my luck is as horrendous as always. <laughs> uh, yeah, let me know in the comments down below how do you guys do. Uh, did you get as uh, uh, as lucky as me? Lucky, I mean, with, you know, close and open. <laughs> uh, oh well. So, um, yeah, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, what do you guys think about the episode played? Uh, of course. Um, let me know about your own pool as well. Like this video if you appreciate all the content translated for you guys as always. And share this video to all your friends still playing Ultimate Cross. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, bye!